ser humano fenomenal. And if you didn't understand anything that I just said, I just said, welcome to Mimi's Global Cafe. We are here with Ramon Esquinas. He is in Madrid, Spain, as we speak. He is an amazing actor and dancer and model and just amazing human in general. And he's one of my dearest friends for a long time. We will not age ourselves because we are timeless. Um, welcome, Ramon. Hello, Melissa. How are you? I'm good. ¿Cómo estás tú? Madre mía, cuánto tiempo sin verte. You look good, you look the same. No, mejor, mejor. Mejor, oh, eso, mejor, <laughs> siempre mejor. I can't believe that we're almost a certain age. Well, you're a certain age, I'm almost a certain age. I'm one year behind you. It's true, no, no, no regrets. No regrets, no complaining. Um, Oh my, speaking of like regrets and complaining, I don't know why this just popped in my head. <laughs> Remember when Madonna was performing and she tripped on the cape? Ah, yes. And fell and the whole world like stopped? Like, oh my God, like the guy she's, getting, she's getting older. What happened? And I, exactly. I couldn't believe it. I was like, she, she, she tripped on a cape it was a malfunction and she stood back up and she just kept going like why do people focus on when you fall when instead of focusing on when you get up exactly because the people always remember the last thing that they see or it's like they are waiting for your mistakes or something like that not not everybody and not always but at that time even with the age and for a pop star of course because it, it's like a mirror, you know, it's like a reflect. She has been uh, young with 50 and jumping and, you know, and uh, it's like if she couldn't uh, afford, you know, to fall or something like that. It's like that. Better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people, there are people I think that do, they like to see people, some people like to see people fall, but I do think some people like to see getting up because everybody falls, todo el mundo. Of course, yeah. In my country, maybe in Spain is, is a country that it is said, it's not a question that I have, it is not only my opinion, it's the opinion of, of everybody here. It's like Spain is a country where uh, if you're successful or beautiful or I don't know, or if you have a lot of money, if you're rich, they they look at you like this and they don't forgive you if you do some mistake and they laugh at you and all that stuff. Some cultures are more uh, happy. Forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, the, but you know, uh, perhaps in America it's different, no? Don't you think? Or or it's it's also the same it depends like i think as a culture i think a lot of people you know you see like for example royalty i think i, I to, i'm going to be honest i think it's changing i do think it's changing because notice what happened with the um with the prince with prince harry in the uk like with him and his wife deciding we don't want to like we are so sick of being in the public eye that we will give up being royal families because we'll give up the money, we'll give up everything because it's just too harsh. I, I think London, I, I think London and England is could be just as harsh as as, um, as Spain. Yeah, that's true, and that's why, for example, it's very successful over there. The uh, the yellow press. Do you say that? Oh yeah, yeah, yellow press or like in like like Ola would Ola magazine be? and all these kind of magazines, you know, like The Sun or, you know, that they, they just laugh at you or they see if you have, uh, if you are fat or if you're getting older or something like that. But uh, maybe it's people that they only, they are bored or I don't know. They don't know what to do with, with their own lives and they just, leave uh, criticizing people and all that stuff instead of being positive and and trying to discover themselves and all that stuff that's that's my opinion that's what i think maybe yeah. that's universal yeah yeah well i think and sometimes it's just the stuff that we're that we don't want to admit 
you know people i think are slowly like getting better with dealing with vulnerability and shame y todo eso you know it's like um yeah maybe it's because we're aging differently now i i feel like different act like it, it, in the media like different actors and actresses if they embrace it like it's better like there are more roles there's thing, things have things are changing i think i hope hmm but but in one sense for example embracing like in what sense well like um so think about um actresses that are getting older like um like Hi. susan susan sarandon or judy dench or um there are shows about people that are oh perfect you know do you have the show in um spain called grace and frankie no uh, it's or... um it's jane fonda and lily tomlin uh, yeah, yeah 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 and it's and it's great uh, by no and he is gay or something like that. Yeah. Both of their husbands decide to yes, they get married. And but there's they talk about everything. They talk about they talk about sex, they talk about relationships, they talk about all this stuff and you know and Jane Fonda ends up with a younger lover and it's so it's fantastic. Oh, my friend Connie is here. Oh, speaking of Everybody, if you comment, if you have questions for Ramon or comments or anything like that, if you type them in the comments, we can actually see them in the feed and we can share them. So my friend Connie is commenting because I remember Ramon, I met him. Good. I was visiting yeah, we went to some nightclub and danced to one night in Bangkok. I am sure we did. I'm sure we did, yeah. I am sure we did. We, oh my God, we would dance all night long. Yeah, from all night long we would dance. From Wednesday to Sunday, nonstop almost. Yeah. Oh, one of your friends is here, Belen. Qué pasa? That's a friend from Marbella, the south of Spain, Malaga. Oh, in Malaga. Oh, bueno. Hola, Belen. In English, guys. She's a very Excellent. good friend. Oh, good, good, good. Well, we have friends of watching. So yeah, so if you have any questions or if you want to comment, feel free to comment there, question there. Oh my gosh, we, yeah, we would dance nonstop. And then we would go and we would, we would go and we would go to the one bar, we would dance and then we would leave. And then we would go and we would eat. We'd have like cafe, churros or cualquier cosa. And then we would go to, <laughs> And we'd go, it'd be the morning, and then we would go to the bar that opened. What was the name of that bar that opened in the morning, that disco? I don't remember. Oh, my God. It opened at, like, 5 in the morning. There are so many here, and they open and close, open and close, and they open another one. So I don't remember which one. I don't remember which one. Oh, oh you know what? Didn't I, when we went to the beach... Was Belen yeah. there when we went to the beach? This was in my in my parents' apartment that they had in Valencia, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, Keria and Margaret and Miriam, like oh, todos estamos allí. Have pictures of that? Yes, I have funny pictures of that. <laughs> I will not show them. I can see them over there. They're printed. <laughs> I'll send them to you, secret. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. I. Oh, oh my gosh. And I also have. I was telling. I. I, I told Ramon. I have all these letters. Like oh. after. I have more than this. But I have. I have. I have. I have letters. And Wait. I. I letters. And there's. There. I. I marked like. And for a while, this is. I think this was when you were living, in New York. First of all, I don't know if you still have the same handwriting. You have like absolutely perfect handwriting. I still have the same handwriting. Yeah. Oh my God! It's once it's, upon it's, a time when we wrote letters. Seeing these letters, like it makes me want to write letters more. I can hear. Oh, you can't hear. I can hear. No, no, you can't hear me. Okay, I'm gonna kick you out. I'm gonna kick you out. Click the link. I I can hear. 
I can hear you. You okay? I'm gonna go like this. Remove, and then I'm gonna tell Ramon to click the link, and then he can get back. Ba 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 ba. This happens. I think it's a glitch with this app because it happened with my friend in Italy the other day, and he said it happens when he's used this app. So it's a thing, but. While we're waiting for Ramon to come back, I have this letter and I'm going to read a little bit about it because um, it's it's about his youth when he was trying to decide whether or not to be an actor. And it's so cool. It's so cool. And um, this great picture of him when he was modeling. Oh, wait, let's see. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. Um, when he was acting and it's him by a, an image of a bull, a bullfight. Like, he's like a toreador. Uh, anyhow, so hopefully Ramon will be back here in a second. I repasted the link there. Oh, Belen, it's so good to see you. Now, this guy, they're prolific, yeah, acting. Yes, he is, he is like the Renaissance man. Ramon is the Renaissance man. Let me just check in on him and just tell him, um, click, click the link, Ramon. Um, hopefully he's seeing that. And um, anyhow, so I'm sorry about the pause here. Any second now, any second now, Ramon should be back. Hopefully that the, the technical difficulty won't because it's so great to see him. And I will also try WhatsApp just in case the WhatsApp works. I can WhatsApp him. So let's do that while we wait, while we wait for Ramon. But let me look. Da, 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 da. Nope, he's still not coming. Ay, 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 ay. Because I want to hear, we all want to hear about what's going on in Madrid, how the lockdown is there, the projects that he's worked on, all these amazing things that Ramon can tell us and share with us. And he's still not back. Okay, un momento, por favor. Un momento, por favor. A ver, a ver. Su numero, su numero. Está ahí. You know what I might do so that you don't have to wait while we do this. Oh, wait, maybe he's back. A ver. A ver. Okay. Vale, vale. Perfecto. Oh, vale, vale. Okay. Pues, it, it, it's, it just added to the drama. Porque yeah. here I am. It's just like, you know, on all of the reality TV shows, they say, wait. You need to find out. You want to find out who the winner is on The Voice? We'll be back after this announcement. So, okay. So, okay. So, this letter is from you, and it's from October 29th, 1996. Wow. Okay. Well, are you ready? I said. And it's nothing, it's, it's, it's all good, but I just want to hear your voice back to you. So he, you say, um, let me start by telling you that last year I began to take classes of acting in a good school, a cheap one, but a good one. I was lucky. The thing is that it took me a long time to realize that I want to be an actor. I was studying economics because of my parents for three years. They didn't obligate me directly, but I was doing what everybody expected from me. Then one day I said to myself, it's time to do what I feel. But Melissa, let me tell you, it was hard. How do you say it to everybody? Because the people ask you, what do you want to do with your life? And you answer, well, I want to be an actor or a dancer or whatever. And then they used to repeat, seriously, what do you want to do in the future? You know, it seems like that's okay as a hobby, but it can never give you any money. And you go on about your decision to study acting and be a dancer and do all this. And I could, like, you can hear it in this whole letter oh my that God. it was like a tough thing for you. Of myself. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, Germany. where did it go? Da, 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 da. And that was in Germany. That was yeah. Like, oh my God. So I was studying acting already. Yeah, you were starting to study acting and like all wow. these like old 
Because you would write me on the back of like the old proofs so that you didn't waste the paper and I could see pictures of you. Okay, 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 okay. I see. Oh my God. I'm, I'm in shock. Oh, wow. si quieres, si quieres puedo um, photocopy. I can, I can, I can take pictures of all of them. Y te, lo man, te, te, las, uh, te las mando, te las mando, las letras. I have them. Uh, I just have copies of that also here with me. So I know them perfectly. Wow. Uh, I'm still thinking the same. Yeah. And at that time, uh, it, well, uh, when I listen to that, Oh, it's like I I wasted so much time with that kind of uh, insecurities and all that stuff. I suppose you know because uh, if I if I was more secure from the very beginning, I I wouldn't have wasted so much time. But at the same time, I was studying economics. I had an enterprise as, as well, so. Uh, at the end, I think that I didn't waste my time because I was also living and I am more calm right now because in my 30s, I had the feeling that I had to be the number one or something. Otherwise, I wouldn't be anything at all. And now I feel different. I, I just do with my life whatever I want to do. And this is what I do right now. But if I do another thing in, in the future, it, it will be fine. I am more calm with that. It is not a question that I have lost my ambition because it's still there. I have my dreams still, but I don't suffer so much, I think. And that's good. Yeah. Good. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's, it's funny. I, I think about it. Sometimes talk about like having an argument re with reality. Like this is how it is. Like you might look back and think, oh, maybe I wasted time or maybe I, I, I could have, like I deep, where it gets you the most, I think, or where it gets us the most is when deep down we know and we don't accept it ourselves. It's not about anybody else. It's about like knowing ourselves and, and knowing what is true for us and, and having the courage to live that way. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And maybe you lie yourself or maybe... There's a part that uh, there is a little part that it could be true that people could think, especially my family, you know, it's like, what's your dream? I want to be an actor. I want to be a dancer. I want to be this. I want to be that. And the people could ask you afterwards, okay, right. But really, what do you want to do with your life? Because this is not uh, like a way of living or something because you have to eat, you have to pay your bills and all that stuff. And um, if your parents had your support because they believe in you or something like that, it is not a point. Um, it's it's not my it's not my parents' fault. That's not what I'm saying. It's like it was their education, and I know now, but I didn't at that time, or in my twenties, or in my thirties, or so, at the beginning of my thirties, for example. So. But at that time, I was like kind of fighting with this kind of feeling, you know, with my parents or even with friends, no? But after that, after that, like one or two years later, I was, uh, most of my friends were artists and also friends. And I didn't have any negative friends uh, uh, around me that couldn't think about that, you know? And now I don't even think about it. I no. No, you no. don't even give it a second. You don't even give it a second. No. no. I don't even doubt. I could doubt about myself because maybe I I criticize myself saying I, I am very exigent, you know, with myself. Uh, but, uh, but I don't doubt about my talent or about should I do this or, or should I do that? No, no, no. It's... Uh, it's a question that if, if I don't, I always think that I could do better or I don't know. I don't know how to explain. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's un poco de perfeccionismo. Like, yeah. and, and it's, and I, I, I have that too. And I realize how much it actually hurts because, because then you don't give yourself the space. Right. Yeah. Like I, um, 
what's the phrase that I, I can't remember exactly, but it's basically like any, if you love doing something, it's worth doing a really bad job. You know, like it's like, if you really love it, then it's worth it for you to try it and fail so that you can get better. Right. Because you're not going to like right out of the gate, do anything perfectly. So if you love it, do it badly until you can do it well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But there are some people who uh, um, in my school of acting for yourself, or, you know, many friends of mine, that they don't go out uh, looking for an agent, for example, or, or they don't want to do castings because they are afraid or they're scared of no, you know. Uh, so instead of trying, they prefer to think that maybe they could have... Uh, uh, a lo mejor ellos podrían haber tenido éxito. Yeah, it's you, yeah, you're 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 missing out on potential success. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So in their imaginary, they they prefer to see that it is better like this and they don't even try. Yeah. But I think that's very painful. I prefer to to fail over and over and over and one day you will be good. I mean uh, also, what's good and what's bad, no, no I don't know. You, you just have to try, you have to try, you have to do things. Yeah. In the sí, meanwhile. Claro. Hay que probar cosas, porque si no, nunca vas a ver si, cómo es, um, qué es posible, no? Sí. Solo tienes una vida. Yeah, you, it's, it's, it's como um, una mitad de la vida. You know, like you don't, you have to, you have to try. I, um, it's funny. I have this, 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 this cracks me up. What is this? this? <laughs> <laughs> pues si somos gemelos, ya puedes ver rubios, ojos azules, you know, uh, y tauros, y tauros. Yeah, we're both twins. We're both Torian twins. I'm um, el once. De mayo, y yo, y yo, el, 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 el 16, ¿no? Es de mayo. Uh -huh. Dice Ed, uh, Melissa, I think we were Taurus, uh, we were kind alike o parecidos, ¿no? Y entonces empezamos a decir lo de almas gemelas, soulmates, ¿no? You say that in English, almas gemelas. Yeah, soulmates, yeah. Yeah. And she has like a, it's like twin, ¿no? Gemelas. So there's no a literal translation, no, from from Spanish to 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 English. Almas gemelas, so mates. Porque mate gemelos. Ah, it's... claro. Okay. All right. So okay. So people probably want to hear a little bit. Oh, Aki's here too. Oh. Oh, this is this is perfect. So I was I was talking to my friend Aki on uh, last week. She is a filmmaker and a designer, and she has and I know what she's saying here because she has been working on on like feeling um, critical of herself and judging herself in terms of taking artistic leaps and focusing on her art, and um, and so she's been working on she's working on a film now. And so she's finally like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to work on this film and that's what I'm going to do. So she was, I think, you know, she made that comment about, you know, talking about judging ourselves without, you know, for not trying things. It is true. It, it, I think it, it just happens, especially with the, uh, with the artistic uh, thing, you know? or maybe it's because of, about your education if they educate you, you know, like in a positive way, I'm not guilty in uh, my parents right now. It's not that, I mean, of course they, they, they had, they, they lived a dictatorship here of 40 years in Spain. If you don't know that it's a, it's a good part, you know, to know it because uh, they didn't have so, so much culture. My mother, for example, they, she, she couldn't read uh, barely. So uh, we, 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 are, we are talking about a country who had um, 
a hard situation after the war, after the civil war that we had here. So uh, I think now the people are educating the people with the, with, with, with a positive with a positive way, no? Like you can be whatever you want, or you can do whatever you want, no? You just have one life, and you have to. Tienes que aprovecharla. Tienes que vivir al máximo, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I go back and forth on that because I like I'm I think very positively, and I think anybody can <clears throat> excuse me try anything, um, and I also think that to tell people that anything is possible is also es mierda, es bullshit, because it's not, todo no es posible, pero, but if you want something and you're passionate about it and you try and you work at it and you put in the effort, then you will see something will happen. Like you will grow because of it. Mm -hmm. But like, I was never, like, I love to dance. I love to dance. Me too. I was never my my body is not like a I I'm built like a shit brick house as they say. I'm built like like como una amazona, you know? I'm like a, a viking, Scandinavian viking. I don't have like the delicate body of a of a dancer. That was never going to happen. But that doesn't mean I've taken dance classes like ever since for forever. I love dancing and I've taken tons of dance classes, but I know I would never be in like the Joffrey or the, you know, and that's okay. I, I, I just dance for myself. Mm. I didn't talk, I, I think I didn't take classes of dancing because it was like a gay thing when you were a child. It, it's the story of Billy Elliot. Uh, when I saw it uh, in the screen, I was like, wow because it just happened to me also like that, more or less, I, I wanted to, but my parents and also my brothers were like, no, 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 you have to do karate, no? And <laughs> I, I, I won a couple of prizes, but uh, like in secret, uh, when I was 10 years old, I didn't dance because it, it was supposed to be like a gay thing or something like that. So afterwards, uh, when I decided to quit economics here in Madrid, uh, my career, um, it was a scandal for my family, you know? Uh, and I said, okay, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go to the States because I, I want to think uh, what, uh, what I want to do with my life. And uh, they said no, because I had an enterprise here of slot machines. And uh, so I had to wait one year, but at the end I went. And uh, at the beginning I went at the university studying uh, uh, literature and history in, at the New School University over there. But uh, I had so many friends, you know, who, 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 who were dancers uh, uh, in the same building, uh, my roommates and all that stuff that I decided to take classes because it was something that I always wanted to do. And uh, I went once, twice, three times, once a day, twice a day. And suddenly a woman saw me in, the, in one of these buildings, city center. And he asked me, how long have you been dancing? And I said, like four months but I'm not a professional. I can't believe you. So if you want to have a scholarship, I can give you a scholarship and all that stuff. And so I had to come back to Spain and come back to New York with a scholarship of dancing. So that's why I was studying. But I realized that it was kind of late for me because I wanted to be the number one, you know. I, I loved uh, modern dance. And um, I realized that I didn't have the, you know, this technique with 21, 22 years old. And uh, when I came back to Spain, I was dancing as a professional, but, uh, you know, TV shows, but it was not my thing because I was, you know, modern dance and all that stuff. Uh, I was not very commercial, but I had to do it. Also in Germany, I was doing dancing, but kind of commercial, and I hate it. So, um, what I realized at that time is that uh, I had the need, the profound need of the words, you know, 
also. And at the same time, I realized that five or six years later, it, it was going to be too late for me. So I was thinking, I just put it in the balance, if it was worthwhile to live with that, uh, you know, pain for such a short period of time. I don't know if I'm explaining myself. No, but no, no. See, it's like, well, dancer, like when you're a dancer, you have um, un dato de expiración, like you have an expiration date. You can only, there's only so long you can actually really do it. Now it's, it's, um, but the other thing is that, pues, porque, porque somos amigos, puedo decir eso, que, que for you, it's about the stories, right? Like, like you, you were ultimately you're a storyteller. Like you tell stories even in our conversations yeah. you, through dance. Like you tell stories through dance. But so for you to be an actor makes perfect sense because it's um, it's telling a story, and and you also get to use your body. You know, you're using movement to tell a story. It is also I I have to admit a dancing. I feel something that I haven't felt with anything because I love music like you, for example. So, uh, I remember crying of pleasure, uh, you know, to dancing in New York, you know, it's just for, just for pleasure. And that's a feeling that I never felt. And that was very nice. But uh, at the end, I had the need of, of you know, uh, telling stories also through the words, through the through the stories, as you said. Yeah. And through your through your face, la through, cara. Yeah. Los ojos. Oceans and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so que tal ahora mismo in 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 Madrid. What's it what's it what's it like with uh with uh quarantine and the lockdown? It's uh, everywhere, I suppose. It's very, it's been very sad. And at the same time, I am taking, uh, taking my time, you know, to, to be with myself because at the beginning, I was very obsessed with the phone and the messages and the memes and, and all that stuff and, and too, too much information. Uh, through the papers and the people complaining about the government and all the stuff and and you had the head like this uh, and I decided to put um, this uh, on a box and uh, be more with myself. Uh, I talk with my friends uh, at least like one uh, once a day. Uh, to see cinema, reading books. At the beginning, it was very hard to concentrate, and it's uh, something that is happening all over because I'm. I just talk with my friends, and they say the same thing that it's impossible to concentrate reading books, for example, because there's something here inside that. Of course, we are seeing people dying, and uh, we know people who. You know, especially all all old people. Um, a ver, aquí aquí en España hay mucha gente mayor, ¿no? Um, yo eh, creo que es el país que, que más gente mayor tiene. Entiendes? O sea, yeah, que... yeah, it's, and so what, what Ramon is saying is that there are lots of older there are lots of older people there. Y también es todavía que um, las familias viven juntos, ¿no? Con con sus con, la, 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 los mayores están viviendo con sus familias y todo eso. Yeah, exactly. Uh, people live as a family in Spain here, and older ones live with the, with the younger ones, and they're uh, because there's a high employ uh, unemployment rate here and young people cannot uh, become dependent so and that's why they are ellos están contagiando más no because they're living like young people and also very very old people and the old people are, are 
very vulnerable right now at the moment. Also, uh, due to the weather, for example, due, uh, due to the weather change in, in the month of February, um, it was with weather and, and people went out uh, uh, you know, to the streets, uh, to the bars, and the social relationships was huge. And probably that's why in Spain uh, it was so spread, uh, the virus. I don't know. Also, you know, that Spain is the, is the second country more visited uh, in the world. So there are many tourists and uh, many traffic of people going around, you know, visiting uh, the country. And as I said, uh, February was a month uh, very atypical here because the weather was very nice. It was like in spring or something like that. So people were in the bars, in the terraces, and uh, we are Mediterraneans, uh, so we, we just kiss each other and we are touching. Kissing and hugging, besos, abrazos, todo eso, yeah. La marcha también, like, Congo. like I, I, know, I, I know people in the States just would not be able to believe, you know, because so you'd be walking out after dinner at midnight with your grandparents. It's normal. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, entonces, lo que noto, uh, what I realize here is that, well, maybe this is worthwhile, no? The people is very, how do you say, angustiada. Mm -hmm. Like anguished. Yeah, yeah. like just... It's angry it, because it's it's not just being sad. It's like kind of sad and exhausted. With like you're so sad, it exhausts your you physically. Because you are thinking all the time. First of all, it's very unreal, no? Because it's like we are living one of these these topic uh, series that we watch in television or with, you know something like that, and at the same time. Uh, we think also about the future, you know, because there are many unemployment people right now and uh, also the hospitals are collapsed. Uh, in the health system here in Spain, we thought that we had an amazing health system here in Spain, but this was like 10 years ago. Uh, uh, the last decade, uh, we had a lot of uh, budget cuts uh, with the health system and uh, we have realized right now that sorry hey. it was a bird <laughs> like this with the with the air with the with the sand and okay sorry is that is, is that is that your terrace yeah oh I can show you because I am with a computer, but yeah, but uh, no, it's not so long. No, if if I if I was with a, with, with with an iPad, I I could. Yeah, it's so nice though that you have that terrace. Yeah, and it's very private as well, so nobody sees you, and it's very. I have it like with with many plants, so you have, you don't have the feeling that you are in the middle of the city. Right, it feels like you're in like your own your 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 mini your mini retiro. Yeah, my secret garden. Your secret garden. <laughs> so. So, what are you doing too? Because you're such an active person. Like, what are you doing during this time? Like, how are you keeping up with? How are you keeping up with all your physical activity that you would normally be doing? Because you're normally not only are you a physical person, but even your work, you're on set, you're doing all, you know, you're, it's a physical, your job is physical too. So I was not working at this time. I was about uh, working in, in April. Now everything is stopped. So I, uh, we, we don't know what's going to happen. And I decided uh, because I go to the gym, I do yoga and all that stuff, and I couldn't. Uh, I am just doing. I am working out here uh, at home, also doing yoga, and uh, but every day because uh, before I was doing yoga like once, twice a week or something like that, but. Right now, I have to do it every single day because I need it. Uh, my head needs to, you know, to do 
things to be more with myself and I'd also doing meditation and breathing and all that stuff. I was not very disciplined with this, but now I don't know what happens with, with myself that I'm, I just need it. I just, yeah. Need it. Um, I try to read, as I said, I try to talk. I, I, I talk to my mom every single day because she's uh, 82 years old. She's, she's beginning with Alzheimer. So she's okay right now. She, she knows about the situation. And stuff. I'm very lucky because she has a cuidadora, how do you say it? Oh, she has a caretaker? Mm -hmm. Very, very nice, very, very nice. And, uh, but uh, we cannot visit her. So doing the Skype with her, dancing and, and all that stuff with her because, uh, I don't know, I, I try to watch movies and series and reading. At the very beginning, as I said, I couldn't concentrate, but I forced to myself, and now I'm 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 getting you know to be more concentrated, reading and all that stuff, writing also, thoughts and uh, things like that, and uh, cooking. Yeah, we're cooking tons. We're cooking tons. We're lucky. I mean, we've got the dogs, so we go out and we walk the dogs. You can go on a nice long walk with the dogs. I'll um, I'll go uh, I'll go grocery shopping for my mom, and so I'll actually I'll see my mom. I saw her last night, but I can't. You know, she has to stay a certain distance. She has to stay you know six feet away. But I can help, like I because I have to bring the the groceries in for her and put them in the kitchen, and then she takes care of that. And then I you know I leave, so I can see her. But it's not it's not the same. You can't just hang out and have dinner and we have yeah. to we use we use zoom and we we did like easter we did over zoom so it's 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 we're so lucky that we it's it's a, we're so lucky that we have this that we can do this or, but like you said earlier it can be very um almost overwhelming so much so yeah. much news so much up you know that it takes it takes a second so it's good to like put the screens put the screens away yeah sure it's true i miss my friends also but i do a skype with them and have a beer or a glass of wine at the same time and we chat like 30 minutes 45 minutes or something like that and it's very nice it's not the same of course but at the same time there are some days like three four five days it's not a question that i'm sad or something like that but i need to be disconnected uh, even uh, without talking or i don't know why i just try to listen to myself and uh, maybe it's what i need i don't know i don't know pues lo que pasa es que eh, si quieres estar um, conectado al mundo también a la vez tienes que estar conectado a sí mismo Exacto. Sí, y, y si esta conexión se va, es más importante reconectar a ti mismo que Exacto. porque si no, no puedes conectar con nadie, con sí. nada. Sí, es que hay tanto ruido, there is so much noise outside and people thinking. Uh, also with this social media, uh, media and it's like everybody thinks about everything, you know, it's that like, I think in my opinion, blah, 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 so, so, so much bullshit. I mean, it's, it's a good thing to have social media, but at the same time, it's like, oops, you have to be very careful because uh, uh, there's so much noise, you know, people thinking. Also, uh, sometimes I have the feeling that we've been manipulated, you know, by someone. Did you see this uh, do uh, documentary, the the great jack or el, el gran hackeo i think it's in netflix oh i'll look for it the great hack yeah i mean, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up the great hack that sounds really good they talk also about this manipulation of the elections in in the states also with the brexit also with the problem of the uh, catalonia here in barcelona catalonia oh yeah you know, these kind of things and many elections or countries all over the world. 
um, I don't know. It's I, I don't want to be paranoid, but uh, sometimes I have the feeling that we've been uh, manipulated from somewhere. Our you know our opinions or so that's why I think that we need a moment to be with ourselves and to think about the world that are waiting for us when this uh, when this is gonna end or I don't know yeah because the world is not going to be the same for sure no no and what about the climate right well, the real spring here is uh, raining and suddenly the sun shining like the real you know because before uh, the climate and you know the weather was totally crazy but now it's like how it should be at least here in spain yeah it's um well today i'll tell you it's menos uno menos uno menos uno y había, había nieve there, like it snowed it snowed last night i woke up and i looked outside and it was like everything covered in salt snow todo y mira vas a, you're, you're gonna like this one this is um this is miss Senor, señora schreiber ah. mi maestra de español y habla bien español sí 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 y ramón inglés entonces it's, it's siempre siempre me alegra cuando alguien um, me da un, un, un como se dice, um, grado, grados buenos, or like good grades. I like good grades. Que alguien valora que hablas bien. Yeah, yeah, sí, que, sí, y también, porque cuando estaba estudiando a la Complutense, era tan difícil porque todos los cursos eran un, um, un año. Y, y en el fin del año es, oh, ¿Has estado practicando estos años? No. No, yo tampoco. No, pues oh, aquí y allí, pero no, um, no sale tan rápidamente como antes, pero lo que, nota es, o lo que noto es que todavía tengo la capacidad de hablar y pensar en español, porque no estoy traduciendo nada. Estoy yeah. hablando y pensando en español. Y eso es el... That's the trick, right? If, 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 hay veces, claro, que, oh, no puedo, no, no puedo recordar una, un, una palabra o algo así, o una frase, una frase, pero, y, y eso tengo que traducir, sí. O si estoy, uh, cuando estoy escribiendo, a veces no, no, no puedo recordar um, yeah. punctuation o algo así, pero, si, no sé cómo, I don't understand how people can learn languages now with the internet. When, I mean, when I lived in Spain, there was no internet. There was no nothing. Yeah. So like when, when, when like I landed in Spain and I had to learn how to survive, it was it. And same thing when you moved to New York, like you, you were living in New York, you had to learn it. But, I, but now it's so easy to just be connected to your friends and still and not force yourself to learn a language, you know? But I remember that when you were living here in Madrid and uh, not a lot of people spoke English. Huh? No? Nowadays, I think it's, it's, it's just got better, I think. I think that more, uh, maybe the young people speak uh, better, in, uh, better English right now. But at the at, uh, I'm, at that time, I think that not a lot of people spoke English here in Madrid, no? No. Pero era una época divertida. Un año de amor. Un año de amor. Yeah, Luz Casal, todavía. A ese día, Luz Casal, oh. sí. su voz. Es increíble ella. Yeah. Y fuimos juntos, ¿no? A uh, um, Tacones Lejanos, al um, premiere. Were you with us? Me, you were here with uh, High Heels? Yeah. Porque Almodóvar, the, there was like the big parade and he showed up in a big high heel coming up to oh, the we theater. Were, we were together, yeah. 
It was that movie at that time, my God. Crazy, right? Yeah, crazy. So many movies he's done already. No? Oh my God. Pues es por Almodóvar que vivía en España, ¿sabes? Do you still see movies from him? Do I still see? I, I, you know what? I still haven't seen el um la su último. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Is it good? It's gorgeous. I think for me, it's the best one. But I always, but I always say the same, you know. <laughs> but Each I mean, one like, is the best one. Yeah, the last one is the best one always. No, it's not like that because they are they, um, He has some of them that I haven't connected so much. But even if they're not so good for me or from my point of view, I'm always interested about watching uh, his uh, cinema. I think he's an artist. He just, I, I, I love his vision. Tiene una visión. And in, it's, there, are certain, there are certain directors that are like that. Like Almodovar, para mí, lo mejor. También Spike Lee. I love Spike Lee. Anything he does, yeah, right. Even even Chirac, everybody hated Chirac, and um, especially because it was about Chicago. And yeah, there were many things wrong with it, but it doesn't matter to me because, like, he tried something different. Exactly. It's como Bowie, David Bowie, siempre estaba in reinventing, you know, reinventing themselves. And that's very good because they don't go to the resort. So they are investigating all that time and they don't give a shit about the, the opinion of, of the people. Of course, they, 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 they want to tell stories to the people, also Bowie and, you know, the people that you have mentioned. But what I like is that even if I don't like what they're doing, because maybe I haven't connected, but uh, this guy or these guys are trying, you know, and they're investigating it. In order to grow, in in order to grow up, and they don't repeat uh, themselves, you know. Otherwise, you're repeating over and over and over, in order to have the success and in order to have the the applause from the people, and that's very interesting. And that's yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, I think it's about um, about being comfortable. Like if you if you if you can be uncomfortable with something, then you can find something new. Es es más como una um, exploración, algo algo así. Exactly. Otherwise, if you if you are comfortable with the art, that's not good. No, you have to be. No, if you are if you are creating and if you are comfortable, maybe you have to doubt about yourself because maybe. It's not so true what you're trying to say or to you know with your with your art in general. I think I don't know. I'm a contradiction man. Pues es 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 como como se dice um claro y oscuro es es así like o oh, chiaro oscuro like the the white and the black like the blend like there you have to have in there's um hay una frase in los estados que se dice uh um all the feels so it's like it's like the range the the range of emotions or the range of whatever uh -huh. so to to be okay with all of it yeah. yeah right which i think in esa in in, in esa época that like we're learning to do that mm -hmm. Because there's nowhere to there's nowhere to run there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, right. Like you just have to look at yourself. <laughs> you have to look at yourself. Exactly. Oh my God! I can't believe that I'm talking to you, Melissa. <laughs> I know it's so strange. It's it's no sé lo que es más raro que estamos um que can you hear the dishes in the background? Can you hear? This is the applause. Do you hear? <laughs> because it's applause. eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock, and the people here applause because of the uh, for the health personnel. <gasps> oh, they do that every night at eight. Doctors and uh, every night at at, at eight o'clock. There, in order to thank people. Yeah. Didn't you know that? 
No, that's amazing. It also happens in Italy. At eight o'clock every single day, we just have for the for the doctors and the nurses and all the health personnel. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Yeah. I. And the people are singing and uh, playing violin and doing things and also jokes and it, it's very emotional here. Because there are many, many doctors and nurses dying as well here. And they have been working without any protection, without any mask at the very beginning. Uh, we didn't have masks or respirators and uh, they had to decide about saving um, people depending on the age. Like if, if we were uh like in a war you know it's like okay we have a we have a person with 80 years old and we have another one with 50 we have to save this one because the this one has more possibilities of of living and that's been awful and the people are suffering so much i don't know if it's happening also over there it's it, it, it i think it's probably not happening as much but it's that's part of the conversation. We don't want it. We don't want it to be that way, right? Nobody wants to have to make that make that choice. And when I've talking, when I've when I've spoken with friends that are older or family members that are older, you know, they know they you know they've said, look, if I get sick, I know I'm the one that they're they're going to pull the plug on me. Like I, I, so I have to I have to take care of myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I don't know, if, if you have to go to the hospital and we have a very good uh, kind of health system here, even if it's been uh, bad because of the because of the budget cuts, uh, the late uh, the last uh, eight years, for example, here in Spain and also in Europe, because that's why in in Italy has happened also the same and also in France because we have realized that we don't have we 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 haven't invested uh, so much money about about hospitals and about uh, the staff i don't know it's been awful really uh, people dying and many dead people and we didn't have any any place to put it some people have disappeared and they give you the ashes uh, 20 years later and uh, you didn't have the opportunity of saying goodbye to your mother or to your father because they just give you a box and, and it's closed and you can open it and maybe it's it's your family or not. It's awful. <clears throat> yeah. And it's everywhere like this. Yeah. It's not only in here, it's, it's also in France, also in Italy, everywhere. I mean, it's a nightmare. If we just think like that, it's a nightmare. And the best thing is to stay staying at home in order to help. At the beginning, the people didn't understand. And uh, imagine in Spain, no? say to the people here, stay at home. Yeah, no way. <laughs> but it, it, it was amazing after three, four days that people took it so seriously, you know. And they realized that it was not a joke. It was not a joke. I mean, if you see the figures, like 500 people today, 500 people, 600 people. So yeah. It, it, it sounds like it, uh, this is not happening to me because uh, nobody around. But one day you have one case around you two three people i don't know it's it's i i yeah when you stop and then when you go what and this is why like you you i think it's important to go there and think about it and consider it and understand it as much as we can and yeah. then we have to not 
we have to know, okay, this is part of our reality and it's one part of the reality. And so what, because of this, what can we do? Yeah. Right. Like, like where, where do we have, donde tenemos el poder? Also because even between the countries, no, it was this kind of, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, we needed, for example, mask, and uh, Chinese people or Russian people had to give you, uh, had to give us mask or whatever, because uh, German people didn't have the solidarity to, you know, with with the, with with Europe. So it's like, fuck, ah, what's the problem? Uh, this is not the kind of world that we want to live, uh, because we we have to fight all together with it. This is universal. It doesn't know about uh, about gender or about uh, race or about money or it's it's universal and we have to be united uh, with this. And maybe we are in the middle of understanding this, you know, because some people don't, it depends on your process as a person or as a as a mankind well i don't know what i see is depending on your state of mind or on your on your process as a person maybe some, uh, for some people it's going to be good and for some people it's going to be awful yeah you see Creo que es la perspectiva y la punta de vista es muy importante porque si piensas que todos somos juntos y hay una conexión universal, universal para todos, pues sí. en, entonces, ok, no, I, I, I'm not alone, I'm connected to everybody, and so lo que hago es importante a otra a la, a la otra gente a la vez a gente que puede pensar pues todo es jodido tengo que um, cuidar a mí mismo y a, a mi familia y eso es uh -huh. y entonces you can you you can you can either be like okay this is all screwed and I've got to take care of myself and my family and you know to the hell to hell with the rest of you or you can say, no, we are all connected. We are all in this together and I'm not alone and nobody's alone. And then we connect with each other, right? Sí, sí, sí. Para estar más fuertes cuando todo esto termine. Porque me parece que hay que ponerse fuerte también. Fíjate que yo eh, he dejado de fumar en estos dos meses y, y estoy como muy cuidando la cabeza, cuidando el cuerpo, cuidando... Todo lo cual, porque sí que está también pasando aquí en España que mucha gente está bebiendo. Mucha gente está... A lot of people is drinking here. Well, everywhere, I think, because they're alone in their house and they're, they're tired of this lockdown and they don't know what to do with their lives. And, but some people are taking care of, of themselves in that, you know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's funny. I mean, not funny, but... It, 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 it's not it's not it's not funny it's not funny haha -ha. it's it's no. funny interesante it, it, it's curious curious curioso de tipos nosotros no a ver a ver qué pasa sí qué quieres qué quieres que um, pues en, eh, estamos eh, a una hora y no puedo creerlo porque parece como minutos porque hace tanto tiempo it's, it, it seems like no time at all because I haven't seen you in so long. Um, I'm curious though, like what do you want to, what do you want to keep? Like what, two things, two, dos preguntas. La primera es que quieres, um, what, what do you want to keep that's happening now? What do you want when, when things are shifting and moving forward? What do you want to, what have you learned that you want to keep and take forward? And then also what are you looking forward to as we phase, as we phase out. What I want to keep is, um, I want to keep trying to be more connected with myself and with the world, with the nature, with the, 
this was also happening to me when I when I was traveling. For example, I was more interested about traveling. Uh, I mean, uh, the last uh, journeys or viajes mm -hmm. uh, has been mm -hmm. to Iceland, you know, in order to see volcanoes or glaciers or things like that. You know, I was in uh, cities because. Uh, estaba más interesado en la naturaleza, de verdad. ¿eh? De repente veía un glaciar y, y se me saltaba una lágrima. Como, ¿Esto qué es? No? ¿Qué es esta maravilla? ¿Sabes? Estar en un glaciar o estar en un, en un desierto o estar en un. Entonces, what I want to keep is trying to be more connected to myself. I wouldn't. And also to the others and also. To be more, perdonar, no, como ser más, uh, ser más uh, benévolo, uh, como perdonar más el mundo. Eh, eh, eh. Muchas veces pienso que el, que el ser humano es capaz de lo mejor y de lo peor también. Y estas situaciones también se ven mucho, ¿no? Uh, Eso es lo que más me gustaría conservar, estar más conectado conmigo. And uh, in the other hand, I think that everything is going to change. Or maybe we're going to forget about this. Maybe the human being is like, you know, this happened, for example, uh, the climate change. Now the air is so clean and, you know, it's, it's never been like this before, I think since the second world or something. Um, we, should, we should learn about this also, about the system of the economy and... Uh, okay, for example, the virus has because we have killed some species of animals and then it has been transmuted in a way que también tenemos que ver cómo tratamos el planeta, los animales, eh, cómo tratamos el medio ambiente para, para no joder el clima que tenemos y joder la Tierra. Es curioso, es como si la Tierra nos hubiera dicho, pues ahora vais a parar. ¿No queréis parar? Pues ahora vais a parar. Ahora eh, estáis todo el día enganchados en, en, un, en un teléfono móvil, en una pantalla. Pues ahora vais a estar con las pantallas y no os vais a poder tocar, no os vais a poder abrazar, no os vais a poder besar. Es algo cruel, pero es algo para que tú reflexiones también. Eh, eh, no me gustaría ponerme hippie, pero a veces pienso, digo, joder. I know, that's so funny. Everything that you just said was kind of a hippie, kind of a hippie comment. And, and I'll just like, this isn't exact, but I'll, I'll translate a little bit, is, is, is Ramon's talking about the fact that like the climate's like, okay, guess what? Like you're going to stop. You have to stop. Everybody is going to stop. And, and, and guess what? Not only do you have to stop, you can't hug each other. You can't touch each other. You can't do any of that. And it's, um, and, and now we're seeing like the environment looking different and, and being able to, as we move forward, still honor the environment and look at, look at other species and other parts of the world with, um, with more care, like give it more care. Y luego también es, es como curioso porque de repente dices, vamos a todos sitios como locos, ¿no? Viendo, tengo que hacer esto, tengo que hacer esto, tengo que hacer esto y tengo que conseguir ser el número uno, quiero ser el mejor en esto. Y de repente es como, no, te vas a parar, tú y todo el mundo. Y la economía se va a parar. Ah, sí, claro, se va a parar. Pues sí, sí, se va a parar. Es que se va a parar por cojones, o sea... No hay otra, no hay otra, es, es, es para pensar. Sé que es un pensamiento un poco hippie y que lo habéis leído todos en las redes sociales y demás, pero a veces dices, coño, es un poco verdad. ¿eh? Yeah, there is, there's total, there's truth to it. There's, I, 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 I mean, I think you can, and everybody can kind of feel it. And, and, um, la, como se dice, como, why do I forget the word hope? But anyhow, you can hope 
esperanza, claro, esperanza. La esperanza es que pues no vas a olvidar eso y que podemos usar eso y hay una mezcla que, um, que podemos uh, sobrevivir en una manera distinta, como otras especies que tenía que cambiar, seres humanos se pueden cambiar también pero es más como cambiando una perspectiva y punto de vista. Sí, sí, sí. Pues eso. Pues eso. ¡Oh! Abrazos <coughs> y besos y... Oh, okay. Ma, guapa. Guapo. Y, y pues mira... Um, we have um, nuestro, uh, nuestros cumpleaños es el mes que viene, entonces tenemos que tener una fiesta por Zoom o algo así. Sí, bueno, el, yo, el mío es el 16, mine is 16, I hope here. The lockdown, they say that probably until 11, but of course it's not going to be that you're going to be able to do everything or the people is going to go out. Uh, everybody and uh, there's going to be some controls it's going to be so crazy it's like fuck me you know because it's not going to be like okay everybody can go out no 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 it, it, it has to be no to tests i was so hoping i was so hoping that by my birthday because like i normally that bar that i was telling you about late bar with the music videos and all that I, we always have our birth, we always celebrate our birthdays at Late Bar. And I was thinking, okay, maybe, maybe by May 11th, everything will be open and I can go dancing. And because I just, you know, I got to dance. So uh, I, if I'm dancing in my living room, I'm dancing in my living room. Yeah. But I, I, I was hopeful, but I don't think so. I think it's probably going to be June, at least in the States, porque estamos atrasados de ustedes. Eh, es verdad, es verdad. Yo tengo la esperanza de que igual no me toque, pero bueno, si me toca, pues estaré aquí, me haré un fiestón, no sé qué haré, no sé qué haré. Pero last year I turned uh, 50 years old, so I did a big, huge party to celebrate it with my friends and all that stuff. So I will remember my last party. <laughs> Las memorias. Las memorias. Las memorias. Las memorias. Exacto. Oh, pues gracias para hacer eso, ¿eh? Nada, gracias a ti. Ha sido un placer. Totalmente. Ok, pues, um, this was your last chance. I'm going to give you, um, if, if anybody wanted to comment. We actually have comments. You can, we can look at them after. There, there, there are some fun comments in, in, in the feed. But I'm going to give you a I big, a big kiss. Mwah. And it's, I'm going to shut the thing off. We're going to say goodbye, okay. everybody. Bye-bye. And then also tomorrow, tomorrow at um, 4 o'clock Chicago time, I am interviewing the one and only Simon Raymond from the Cocteau Twin, from Cocteau Twins. And um, he runs the record label Bella Union. And he also has another band called Lost Horizons. He's amazing. He'll be calling in from Brighton, England. That's tomorrow. And um, if you want to check out other videos or interviews, they're in Mimi's Global Cafe in the Facebook. And Ramon, thank you so much. I'm going to click off here. Thank and you. here we go. Hasta luego. Bye-bye. Mwah. Ciao.